The 30th of March is World Bipolar Day. So what is bipolar depression? Well, someone who has a diagnosis of bipolar depression will usually swing between two moods and they're quite drastic moods and changes. So one is from a very depressed mood and the other is a very elevated and high mood. Bipolar disorder used to be called manic depression, but we don't refer to it as this anymore. About one in a hundred people in the UK have a diagnosis of bipolar depression. And we don't know the cause of this as yet, and there's no exact cure. But what we do know is that it usually develops between the age of 15 and 19. Bipolar disorder or bipolar depression can impact men or women equally. And it can be caused by a range of things, whether it's genetic factors, periods of extreme stress, or even life-changing events that are really significant to that person. So there's no one cause and there's no one cure. When the individual is in a depressed state, they lack energy, they may be very low in mood, and they may also experience suicidal ideation, thoughts, or self-harm. When the person is in a state of mania, they have very high energy levels. They may hardly eat or sleep, they're very, very active, and also they can become easily irritable. They may also hear or see things that aren't there, and they may often buy things that they can't afford because there's no idea of the consequences of their actions at that point in time. Each of these moods can last several weeks at a time, and there's rarely a point in time when the individual's mood is stabilised. And this can mean that this impacts upon their quality of life, how they cope and their day-to-day -day experiences. Now, every individual who experiences bipolar disorder will have different symptoms and different life experiences. So it's really important to speak to a GP in the first instance to look at the best way to holistically support that individual. They can then help develop a care plan which is specific for that person. So there's no one cure, but there is a combination of reviewing lifestyle, medication and psychological therapy which could be offered to an individual with a diagnosis. Your GP will be able to advise you in the first instance, so do speak to them. However, if you or someone that you know is feeling actively suicidal, then do contact the Samaritans or go to A&E straight away or call the emergency services. So if someone's in imminent danger, do make sure that you get immediate support for them. I have included below a list of organisations that you can look at if you wanted to find out more information about bipolar disorder and the sources of support.